I'm gonna show you guys how to tame a lox in Valheim. So these guys can be tamed. It's just really tough because you need to build a pen right near their spawn or else it's hell on earth getting them to the pen because they don't want to go too far away from their spawn. And when you take them too far, they start trying to turn around and go back. And it's really, really awful to deal with. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead to where I finally lured this guy all the way to the pen, which is I've almost made it now. I made the mistake of building the pen way too far away from the spawn and then found out, oh, wait, you can only take them so far, which I had not tested until just now. But I'm going to skip ahead to where we have him at the pen already. Okay, so I got into my pen. It's really tough aggroing. I think the trick is to get into his face and then wait, and then Rowney starts to move and walk casually. But we got him to the pen finally. Oh, he's gonna blow this up fast. So you're gonna need actual walls probably. It'd probably be best to use stone actually. Uh, sorry about the screen shake. When you're in god mode, the uh, screen shakes slowly stack. So uh, now that he destroyed the pen, things get a little bit awkward. I'm gonna try to get him in here. Uh, this is a really demo pen. This is not a good pen for this. Uh, you would wanna use a better pen. For sure. Because, uh... He's just gonna blow it up, probably. But you can rotate around him. He will try to get out of the pen. Apparently. But you can, you can keep boxing him in. And then run away. I think, I think we got him. I think maybe because he's glitched on the wall. Okay, so now we need that, that exclamation mark to go away, which I don't know if it's going to. Okay, I think he's chill. He's chill. That's not the ideal way to do this, but I think that'll work. Okay, so now that we got him in the box, this is, you, if you take your time, you can figure out a better way to make this happen, okay? This is like, this is, <laughs> look at him rotate. This was like demo just to show you a, this is not the ideal way to do this. You probably want stone walls. You probably want to do something bigger than this so that you can, you know, move around more with them and stuff. But uh, because of how small this is, this is going to get really weird really fast. So I need, I don't know why, oh, there they are. Uh, I have not actually tested all the foods, but I'm assuming cloud berries work because he, uh, because cloud berries are in the plains and he's from the plains. I'm just going to assume cloud berries work. So I'm going to throw down cloud berries now into the pen and then leave. I'm also going to throw all my other food in here. You know, you can have anything you want. I have my mushrooms, my blueberries, raw meat, tail. And then he has food to eat now. And he should just slowly over time become tame from eating food. Once you have him trapped in a pen. So I'm, I'm going to seal this up a little bit more. To make sure he can't get out. Uh, you don't want to aggro him again or he's going to start attacking the walls. So uh, you're just going to have to be happy with how it is. I'm going to skip ahead to where once he's tame. Okay, I really quick wanted to chime in here. Uh, I'm going to sneak up to show you that he is acclimating to his new home. I have sneak on 100 now. He's 5% tame, 6% tame. So I'm pretty sure the way it works is he eats food, and as long as he's not hungry, then he will just slowly become tame over time. The number will just keep going up and keep going up uh, over time. So uh, it's been about two to three minutes, and he's at 6%. So my guess is it'll take... <laughs> 30 minutes to an hour of him being in a pen with food available at all times for him to acclimate and become tame. But I'll go, I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead to where he's tame. Okay, it's time to take a look at our pet. I think he's tame now. Let me double check. Yes, tame and happy. We can pet him now. My locks love him. So uh, there you go. You can tame the locks. I'm assuming you can breed the locks just like boar, but it's kind of a pain in the butt because you got to get two of them at least and uh, then, you know, keep feeding them and stuff. 
You definitely need a bigger pen if you want two of them. This one doesn't even fit in this one pen. So, uh, like I said, if you are actually going to tame a locks on a real gameplay, like game playthrough, then you need to actually prepare and build a real pen before you do this. I mean, you, of course you can do exactly what I did with just a jank pen that I rebuild till he calms down. But I would recommend using stone or something and building, you know, an actual pen or just building a gigantic pen that has enough room for him to calm down and all that. But yeah, so uh, loxes can be tamed. I was actually really hoping you could ride a lox, but I, I don't think that's that's a thing. Hopefully someone will make a mod though so you can make a saddle and ride a lox. I actually get a feel, I have a feeling. Unless there's something in the game and I haven't found it yet and there's some way to make a saddle, which honestly I doubt at this point, it's early access right now. But uh, I have a feeling that they intend to have us be able to ride loxes. That just seems very likely to me. Uh, maybe they say it in the roadmap. I haven't looked at the roadmap, but uh, considering that the trader has a pet locks that has like a saddle on it and stuff, I would assume that in some future update they will make it so we can ride the locks. Uh, but for now, you can breed loxes and then you know kill them for food and whatever they drop uh, when you have multiple of them. They should breed. I've assume I haven't tested the breeding, but I'm just gonna assume the breeding works because. So far, it looks to work. Everything looks like it's working exactly like the boar. Oh, and I should have said this when I came back to this clip right here. Uh, so when taming the locks, you have to be in render range for his tameness to go up. You can leave and come back, and the locks will still be in the pen, which is something I was worried about. I was worried he would despawn. But I ran all the way to the other side of this continent, came all the way back. The locks was still in the pen, but the tameness did not go up because the Lox's tameness will only go up if he's rendered in. And render range on this game is about here to that stone that I'm looking at right now, maybe the second one over there. Uh, somewhere around that range is how close you have to be. So make sure you build your pen near your home where you're gonna be building and stuff or like, you know, spending time. Or if you just wanna tame a, a, a Lox, then uh, build a pen and then build a little house to put yourself in and then go AFK for like 45 minutes or whatever it took. I, I think it, I wasn't, I wasn't watching the clock, but that took somewhere between 30 minutes and an hour of waiting. I went and just did other things and came back and checked and he was at 98 and I, I, was, I was after like 30, 40, 50 minutes or something like that. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. You can definitely tame Loxus. Again, I was really hoping you can ride him, but I, I don't think that's a thing. Not yet, at least. Until there's mods. Someone's going to make a mod for that. I guarantee it. But yeah, so if you're wondering how to tame Loxus, in Valheim, now you know how to do it. If this video helped you, consider helping us by subscribing to our channel. Tap this button over here and hit the red subscribe button. Subscriptions help a lot, even if you never watch our videos again. Ha 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 ha!